Hey guys, this is Scotty, aka Big Butta, and I'm here today to show you about our new Arbor Wallet. This is a light wallet for the Chia blockchain, and it does not require any kind of sync uh, and does pretty fast transactions there. So let's dive right in. All you do is you open a DM with our bot, the Arbor Wallet here, do a slash to bring up the different commands. And the first one that we're going to go for is create. And we're going to create a wallet with the name test. And the password that we're going to use for this one is going to be password. And this is going to generate a unique mnemonic here. This will be our seed phrase that we want to copy down. In case we ever need to recover our wallet, we're going to need these words here. So assumingly that they're all copied down, now we'll do delete. And we can see that our new wallet has been created and this is our receiving address for the wallet. So that's it right there to create your wallet and get set already receiving rewards. So let's test this out here and we'll copy our new receiving address. I'll go to my Chia client here. I'll pop it in there and We'll send five mojos with no fee. All right, there we go. So now our transaction has been successfully sent to a full node. So once that gets confirmed, we'll wind up seeing that in our wallet address. Now, while we're waiting for that, uh, that spend to confirm there, let's create another wallet because you can hold as many wallets as you choose with our program. So we'll do another create. And from here, we'll call this one test oops, two. And we can use the same password for it even. Okay, and we should get a new seed phrase. So here's our new one. So if we ever need to recover that wallet, we can do so with this one here. Again, we can delete that. All right, and now we have our receiving address for our second wallet. Uh, let's take a look real quick and see if our first one was confirmed. Uh, it doesn't look like it's been confirmed as of yet, so just another couple moments there. And while we're waiting for that confirmation, what we're going to do is we can take a look at all of our wallets that we have with the wallet command. And this shows us which one is currently active. So the last one that we create is always active there. We have our first test wallet and our test two wallet. So let's switch over to our test wallet because we're going to want to check our balance and transactions on that. We'll come over here and it looks like it still hasn't been confirmed as of yet, but it should be in just a moment, I would imagine. So let's come back down here and we can even check real quick to see if we have a balance on here. Oh, it looks like it has been broadcast to the network. So let's see here. Oh, and there it is right there. Cool. So we can, of course, always go and verify this on Chia Explorer. So let's come over here and we'll search our wallet address. And there it is right there. And here's the actual coin that we spent to our wallet. And of course, we can always check our transactions directly right here. And here we go. We have the date and time of the transaction, the amount received, and the address that it came from. So all of our information is in there. While we're doing this, let's just check our other wallet and see if there's any funds in there. There shouldn't be. So now we're on our test two wallet here. We're going to check our balance. Okay, and we have zero Chia in test two. So what we're actually going to do here is we're going to go back to our wallet. We're going to select test wallet number one, where we currently have funds in. Um, and then from there, we're going to deposit into our wallet number two. So that's going to be this one, which has zero funds in here. Let's go to the Explorer just to double check. Okay, and here it says loading and it will never change because we have no transactions in there. 
So now let's come down here and let's spend a few of those mojos from our test wallet to our test two wallet. So we'll come down here to send. Okay. And we're actually going to send uh, point zero 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 zero. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're going to send two mojos. All right. And we're going to send it to the destination of our test two wallet. Okay. And we need to enter the password for our test wallet because we always need to use the password to spend. So I type that in. Okay. And now it has sent two Chia to our test wallet. So we can come over here. I'm sure it hasn't been sent as of yet because it needs a few moments to confirm. So it hasn't been confirmed as of yet. Uh, while we're waiting for that to confirm, we can go over the other commands. We have uh, delete, which will remove your wallet from the list. Um, of course, even after you delete it, you can always recover your wallet by entering the seed phrase that we gave you in the beginning. Uh, of course, you can check your balance and your transactions for each wallet. You can generate your receiving address, which is the same as the ones that were up above that we first created. Uh, of course, we can send funds to another wallet. Um, and again, this command will give us the list of our wallets. So let's see if we have a balance in this wallet as of yet. Okay. So it looks like in our test one wallet, we have three mojos. And in our other test two wallet here now, we should have the ones that were sent. All right, doesn't look like it's been confirmed as of yet. So let's head back and take a look at the balance in our other wallet. So in test two, let's check the balance here. Okay, and this one says that we currently have two. So let's verify that we're typing in the right receiving address, which is this one. And let's go back to Chia Explorer. Okay, there we go. And now Chia Explorer is showing our two mojos in there. We can see the parent coin. Uh, excuse me, you can see the coin that it went to. So this is the actual coin. And then here is our parent coin info, which this should show our three spend there. Perfect. And we actually also have a two spend here. This spend is going back into the original wallet as change uh, because you always need to make change in Chia. We actually handle that always for you so you don't have to worry about that. Let's check the transactions on test two wallet. Okay, right, so we have one transaction where we received. And just to show you, let's go back to our original wallet on test here. And from here, now we should show a new transaction. There we go. So we have one transaction where we received five mojos and one transaction where we sent two mojos to this address. Um, and that's about it. It's pretty easy to use. It uses our API system, which everything is open source. So if you guys want to make your own wallets, you're more than welcome to. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to let us know over at the DFI server.